number nine this week in the top 10, a popular favorite back in the top 10, none other than Yo Mamba, the Jungle Savage. Yo Mamba, the Jungle Savage. Of course, you can get your Yo Mamba 605 t-shirts at tinyurl.com slash superpod store. Jim, I got to ask you, this Yo Mamba thing is still mysterious to us. We've, We've never-, never found out the, the identity of, of Yo Mamba. We have found out who knows the identity, but we've never found out the identity. Who knows the identity? Here's the people we know for sure would know this. Jerry Lawler gave him the name. People have asked Jerry Lawler. Jerry Lawler has no memory of who he is, and I don't, I'm not surprised by that. No, no, no. I believe that 100%. What we believe, without knowing exactly for sure, but based on things that Mark Lean and Terry Garvin Sims have said on this program, we believe Yo Mamba was a graduate of the Bill Dundee wrestling school that they both came out of also. <laughs> oh. So Dundee potentially knows, but again, Dundee may have just forgotten. I guarantee you, Bill has probably, well, unless he, the guy did something spectacularly stupid. If he did, then Dundee would remember him. <laughs> is that the way Dundee is? It's pretty much, yeah, at that point. You know, <laughs> uh, if, if you're talking about trying to have, remember a wrestling school student from 30 years ago that didn't make it. It would only be if he did something really memorably ignorant that Dundee would remember his name. So then the other two people we know, we know for a fact they know who he is, are Mark Aline and Terry Garvin Sims. Mark Aline is a mysterious man. It's not just a gimmick. We can't get him back on the phone. <laughs> are just, you what? You were talking to him there. He was on your show, right? Was, it's one of the most popular moments in the history of the Super Podcast, the Mark Aline interview. It's an amazing segment. But now he won't answer. He won't call you back. He or? may be with T. Joe Khan in the in Malaysia or whatever. You know, hunting. Well, for... what did, did you offend him in some kind of way he with your a, with your New York manners? He had a blast. I got multiple texts after it about how much he loved it and how much he loved the fact that people remembered him. Is it possible he's in jail and can't get back? Anything's possible. I guess is the easiest way to sum that up. But Terry Garvin Sims knows for sure who it is. And you can't shut him up. And he won't tell us. What? He won't He won't tell us. But I'm going to make a renewed effort to get Terry on the show again. Terry, Terry Garvin Sims has never been in a point in his life where he wouldn't just, just talk and talk and talk until you wouldn't take a, a fucking ball bat to him. I can't believe he won't <laughs> spill his guts over something that ever, this many people wanted to, to know, to find out. A fellow Louisvillian. Well, he lives down there, down south of town. <laughs> 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 well, we're going to make a renewed push to get Terry back on the program, and we're going to put pressure on him to tell us who Yo Mamba is. And if Mr. Gulen is listening, get in touch, Mark. We can make some money. Let's do some T-shirts. Mark, Mark, come on, Mark. You know, you tease the people, and you leave them wanting more, and then you fucking bail. That's not good for the territory. You cowardly dog. <laughs> I mean, that's a manager right there. I have a surprise coming for you. Totally awesome. I will tell you more about him later. Yo Mamba! That's number nine in the top ten. Yo Mamba, the Jungle Savage. Yo Mamba, the Jungle Savage!